What's up, Nation? It's your boy, the Jersey Jackass, back again for another movie review right here on Cinelinks.com. Hit me up on all social media at RealJackassBC, R-E-L-J-C-K-A-S-S-B-C. -S -S and don't forget to follow Cinelinks at Cinelinks. I know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I've been busy. Got back from Comic-Con. I had so much stuff to do. I was just so... Oh, man. I know. It's been a while. But we're back with a brand new movie. This one's called Mile 22. We live in a new world. We fight new wars. People sleep peacefully because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. If we fail, there is no backup plan. We are at Overwatch, and we get things done. Mile 22. Rated R. It's Ronda Rousey! And Mark Wahlberg! I didn't change shirts. You changed shirts. So, Mile 22, brand new Peter Berg, Mark Wahlberg film. They're back at it again. I've loved a lot of the uh, collaborations between these two. Lone Survivor, Patriot's Day, Deepwater Horizon. They've all been incredible films. So I had a lot of hope going to this one. This was going to be just as good. Now, I will say that I did really like this film. But it's no Lone Survivor. It's no Patriot's Day. Not even Deepwater Horizon. But that's not to say there's not fun to be had in it. Now, Mile 22 stars Mark Wahlberg doing the most Mark Wahlberg that Mark Wahlberg has ever Mark Wahlberged. John Malkovich, Lauren Cohen. I know you guys haven't missed this. Here we go. Iko Yuez? Iko Yawes? Iko you Iko... Badass dude from the raid. Ronda Rousey? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little biased. I'm sorry. Nikolai Nikolov, sounds like an old wrestler too, and Carlo Alban. First off, I had fun with this. It opens up with a high impact, very action packed scene. So right off the bat, you're like, okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be pretty cool. Can't wait to see how this goes. Now, it never really slows down. It just kind of keeps on pumping up the action. Almost like a crank, so to say. The story is, it's Mark Wahlberg's team. They've got to get a guy that has information on uh, a couple bombs from point A to point B. It's about 22 miles. Get it? Mile 22? You get it. You get it. And he won't give them the information they need to find these bombs until they get him somewhere safe. Meanwhile, the uh, the Chinese government, they're trying to get to him. They're trying to take him out because they, they know... You know, we can't let this guy keep going. So that's mile 22. Again, this is no uh, lone survivor at all. Definitely has the problem. The story is just kind of as really basic. And a lot of the action sequences, while some pretty cool action, uh, has a lot of shaky cam. Y'all remember shaky cam, right? Yeah, I remember action. Yo, action, stuff's happening. God, I hate that. It's not as bad as it was back in the 2000s, early 2000s, but you can still tell that it's there. So those are my real main issues with it. Like, other than that, I actually had a lot of fun with it. Now, that's not going to win no Oscars by any means. Not even in that new, dumb, most popular achievement film stupid category. Why is that even a category? But you can still sit back and relax and have a good time with the movies with it. Mark Wahlberg is really up to his Mark Wahlbergness. Like, he is so Mark Wahlberg-y in this. And everyone else is trying to up their Mark Wahlbergness to kind of match his. Now, it's not great because of that, but I, I still enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. The Walking Dead's Lauren Cohen is really good in this. I actually really loved her character, and she does. she's probably the best acting in this movie. And again, call me biased, but I liked Rowdy. I thought Ronda Rousey did a really good job in this. She's not given a lot, but it's kind of like what they did, what uh, uh, James Gunn was able to do with Drax in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Batista's not the best actor, but James Gunn found a way to hide his weaknesses and highlight his talents. And that's what Berg does with Ronda Rousey here. She's not on, when she is on camera, she's kind of doing her brooding, I'm a badass kind of thing. And she doesn't have a lot of like lines to deliver, but the action's really cool when she gets into it. Call me crazy, but I believe the character. John Balkovich is a trip in this dude. He's got, uh, he's, just, he's got this bad toupee and you're just like, Johnny, come on, man. You don't really, really, come on, bro. But still, it's John Malkovich and you gotta love him. How could anyone hate Cyrus the Virus? We're going to Disneyland. All in all, yes, there are definitely some issues with Mile 22 and it's not an extraordinary film by any stretch of the imagination. But I still had fun with it. So uh, let's go ahead and let's give it a little bit of a score here. All right, we're going 2.9. But what did you guys think? Have you seen Mile 22? Are you excited to see Mile 22? Are you still planning on going to see it? 
Make sure to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the little bell. That way you get notifications when all of our videos go up. Don't forget to check out everything else on Cinelinks.com. Your one stop for your news, reviews, editorials, and more. Keep it on Cinelinks. Until next time, guys, this is the Jackass. It is what it is. Mm -hmm.